Yes, then YouTube, we are back. But before you start, guys, if you want to drop a like on today's video for me, let's see if we can smash 100 likes. Drop a comment down below and please hit that subscribe button to my channel. Most of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed to my channel, so let's change that. Click the bottom right and let's do it. So, you will see... Because of the three red reward players we've got, we did finish. And the reward video, actually, which is on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go and check that out. We did finish rank one on the road to glory this weekend, League. So I thought, you know what? Let me drop the full custom tactics for you guys to show you. So the first formation that I did use is, of course, the 4-3-2-1. But before we get started, for your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Coins, please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So this video is going to be very quick. I'm not going to go into too much detail as I never do on a full set of custom tactics. But the main formation that I did switch into minute one of the game was the 4-3-2-1. My personal, my personal favourite formation this year, along with a couple of others. But I think my number one is the 4-3-2-1. So this is how I set my team up on the RTG. Tadic was up front. Bergwijn was the right forward. Alawarian was the left forward. Kudus, and it wasn't Declan Rice, it was that Vergangiza in at the CDM. Garincha then back four, four, pretty obvious. So, the 4 3 2 1 custom tactics that I used were balanced on the defensive style, 40 on the width with 55 depth. Remember, I am on the road to glory, I'm not on my pay to win account, so I did lower the defensive depth from 60 to 55, especially with it being team of the season. I just wanted to go a little more sweaty to guarantee myself the rank one, so that's why I did that. Balanced and of course direct passing. If there was anything different that you do use, by the way, let me know. Because I always use balanced direct passing. You will know from every single YouTube video. Let me know. Is there anything different that you do use in the comment section down below? 45 on the width, just to make it a little more narrow. So the left forward and the right forward are closer together to the striker. And also the midfield three are a lot more narrow. I, I think that works in the attacking side of the game. Even with the defensive side of the game being more narrow as well. I just think more narrow this year is better. Six players in the box, not seven, it was actually six. So six players in the box, two corners and two free kicks. So the player instructions, they have never actually changed ever on the 4-3-2 on this year. So getting behind on my striker and my right forward. My left forward is then on comeback on defence because I did defend in a 4-4-2. That's probably the best way to use this formation this year, in my humble opinion. So comeback on defence on the left forward. Kudos, my left centre mid, I use him as the more attacking one. So he is on cover centre and get into the box for cross. Declan Rice, the middle central midfielder, he is on stay back while attacking and cover centre because I use him basically as like the CDM. Grincha, then my right centre mid, is on just completely default settings, even including cover wing, so I don't actually touch him at all. He will defend right mid in the 4-4-2. My right back is then on stay back while attacking, along with my left back on join the attack and overlap. And then last but not least, my goalkeeper is on comes for crosses and sweeper keeper. So that was the main formation I used. The second formation was the 4 2 2 my ultra defensive. Now, I would switch up into this formation when the 4 3 2 on wasn't working. There was no real set time when I would switch into it. I used to just think in the game I was playing him, if I wasn't enjoying the 4 3 2 one, for example, if my opponent was using a formation that counted the 4 3 2 one, I would then switch up into the 4 triple 2. That's how I set my team up Bergwine and Tadic as the two strikers. The custom tactics. Pretty much identical to the 4-3-2-1, really. The only difference is I play on 60 defensive depth rather than 55. And the reason for that with the 4 triple 2 YouTube is in the 4 triple 2 you have two CDMs rather, rather than the 4-3-2-1 where you have a central midfielder. So they're a little bit deeper anyway. So you can afford to be a little more aggressive in the defending side of the game. So balanced, 40 width, 60 on the depth, balanced and direct passing. Again, 45 on the width. I wanted my lamb and my ram to be a little more narrower to my two strikers. Again, YouTube, six players in the box, two corners and two free kicks. And then the player instructions on the 4 triple 2 Stay central, get in behind and come back on the fence. Remember, YouTube, with the 4 triple 2 imagine your two strikers are here and your two CDMs are here. You want to close that gap off to make it harder, make it easier to attack and harder to break down. If you've got too much of a big gap, like your strikers are way up here, CDMs here, you don't want that. You want them literally like, wait, how can I do it? Yeah, you want them like that. Closer together, easier to play. So that's why the arm will come back on defence. My lamb and my ram come back on defence. And then I have one of them on stay on the edge of the box for cross. So for me, it was my lamb. And then my ram is on get into the box for cross. Just I have one of them on get into the box. The other one stay on the edge. Both my CDMs then YouTube are on cover centre. So both of them on cover centre. 
and then both of them unbalanced. But like I do always say, if you do struggle defensively in the fourth triple two, put one, the more defensive player on stay by while attacking. So for example, me would obviously be my Declan Rice. Both of my fullbacks are then on stay back while attacking. And then last but not least, comes for crosses and sweeper keeper on the goalkeeper. And they are the only two formations that I did use this weekend league. So if you did enjoy this video, please, please, please drop a like, drop a comment down below. And let's smash 100 likes. Yeah, let's smash 100. 100's a good target. And that subscribe button to my channel. Remember, most of you people watching this video won't be subscribed. Let's change that. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive male attitude. Peace out. One love.